So up one, and you can actually just use your arrow keys if you want to select the node above the sky, which is going to be your main camera. So right down here we have our lens, and uh, the first thing you're going to see is focus. So let's play around with that. Uh, depth of field is the first thing, so you can go ahead and check that on. And you can just middle mouse click in here. You can go through and you can say, you know, what's my focus distance and near blur and far blur, but just middle mouse clicking in here uh, will give you your focus. If you want to just go ahead and just focus right between the eyes, and then you can dial in, you know, how much near blur you have, how much far blur you have past that point. So I'm going to take this near blur, I'm going to turn it down uh, quite a bit. And that far blur we can kind of play around with just to give it a little bit of an out of focus look there. Underneath flare, if we crank that up, you're going to see this is going to give us that kind of lens lens flare here. So as we go through and it hits something bright, it'll kind of flare out around the object. So you can kind of dial in your size and your threshold and your strength uh, to get the look that you're going for. Uh, underneath distortion here you're going to have uh, chromatic aberration. If you really crank that up it'll give you that kind of <laughs> fuzzy eyed kind of look. Um, but you know, giving, getting a little bit of this in here uh, might give you a little bit of a cool look. Uh, down here under post you can change the overall exposure in here and in fact you can just go into here to curves. So just like in Photoshop if you go through here and just plant some lines along here you can change your low, mid, and high values to kind of go through and punch up or focus or enhance uh, any areas that you might want. Uh, and again, this is like, you know, like I said, post effect. Uh, you can also go in here to presets. You can check some of these if you want to do like NOR. Here's cool, desaturated, glamour shots, burnt, and it's going through here. And it's basically, you can load and save any of these presets you want. But uh, we'll switch that back to default. And then we'll just go ahead and play around again. We can just go in here to our curves real quick and say, you know, do I want more or less contrast on the low end and then in the middle and high, you kind of go through and adjust that as needed. Uh, sharpen, you can go through and you can really over crank it. And uh, just like in Photoshop, if you're going to go through and over crank those sharp, uh, you'll start getting some really kind of alias halos in there. Um, so, you know, maybe use that a little bit sparingly. Uh, here's bloom. So just like flare, you can also go through here and you can over crank that bloom here. And then you can change your the size of the bloom here. And if you go back to the iris mat, here's the emissive intensity. So again, you can kind of change that emissive intensity to kind of maybe pick up a little bit more of that bloom, depending on how much you're going to dial that in. Uh, vignette, again, just like in Painter or iRay, you can go through and add a little bit of vignette, the softness of that vignette, what color you want the vignette to be. And then you can even add grain. So right now it's a 0.04. Uh, you can really add some noise to there, but I'll just go ahead and leave that alone. Again, you can load and save these as needed or load up these presets is a good place to start.